What are invasive alien species? The ASEAN region is under attack by aliens, but not from outer space. Meet the invasive alien species, non-native plants, animals, fungi, and microorganisms that were introduced in the region, either intentionally to improve production in agriculture and aquaculture, and for the pet and aquarium industries, or accidentally as hitchhikers in the transport of products and through ballast water of ships that move across oceans. These invasive species have now become threats to our ecology and economy. When do alien species become invasive? Introduced alien species become invasive when they survive, thrive, and complete their life cycles in their new habitats and outcompete native plants and animals for food, water, and space, causing extinction or displacement of native species. They spread in this new environment, resulting in harmful changes in ecosystems and habitats. How are invasive alien species introduced? Invasive alien species are introduced through land, air, and water transport, wind, and other pathways and vectors. A vector is a living or non-living thing that transports invasive alien species either deliberately or unintentionally. The movement of people and goods due to globalization of trade and industry has contributed to the spread of invasive animals, plants, and microorganisms. Species are exported or imported to support agriculture, aquaculture, horticulture, forestry, fisheries, and the food industry. Unfortunately, some species introduced for biological control of certain pests, for example, become pests themselves. Shipping is a major pathway for the introduction of aquatic invaders when some species get into the ballast water or other parts of the vessel and later released. People bringing in live plants or fruits may unknowingly introduce foreign pests and diseases. Invasive alien species hitchhike on planes, ships, and even on garbage floating in the open seas. Seeds may stick to clothes and suitcases. Insects may be transported through wooden packaging materials. Exotic animals kept in captivity as pets for breeding may escape and turn invasive. In agriculture, exotic animals may deliberately be introduced as biological control for pests and diseases. The aquarium and ornamental fish industries are emerging as significant pathways for invasive species due to the unregulated trading of aquarium pets such as the red-eared slider janitor fish, and other exotic fishes, reptiles, and amphibians. A third of the world's worst aquatic invasives were introduced as aquarium or ornamental species. In forests, exotic species are planted for reforestation as raw material for pulp and paper, as plantation crops, or as sources of biofuel. They eventually become invasives. Why do we need to understand invasive alien species in relation to biodiversity conservation and what are their threats and impacts to biological diversity? Invasive alien species have common characteristics. They can thrive under adverse conditions, reproduce and grow rapidly, have high dispersal ability and adaptability to new conditions, and able to survive on various food types in a variety of environments. As these invasive species prevail in their new environment, native species are outcompeted for space and food and even eaten, and eventually becoming extinct. Vital ecosystem functions such as pollination, soil regeneration, nutrient and water cycling functions among others may eventually deteriorate. For example, a common minor bird can drive away native birds by occupying their nesting areas and eating their nests and eggs. Giant mimosa, a thorny shrub with buoyant seeds that grow abundantly in mudflats, can drive away migratory birds feeding and nesting in these areas. About 12 billion tons of ballast water throughout the global oceans are transferred through the shipping trade. Ballast water has also been identified as a vector for the spread of red tide. Toxic effects of red tide, which can lead to human fatality, include paralytic and diuretic shellfish poisoning. 
In recent years, some of the world's worst invasive alien species have caused ecological and economic nightmares in many ASEAN member states. The cost to farmers of the golden apple snail infestation in the Philippines was estimated at 28 to 45 million US dollars in 1990. The snail wrought havoc on Vietnam's rice fields, where it was introduced in 1988 for culturing in backyard ponds as an alternative high-protein food for duck and fish. Some snails escaped and spread to ponds, trenches and rice fields, thereby becoming pests. The water hyacinth has clogged waterways, impeding boat transport and fishing activities, and reducing fisheries productivity. In the 80s, the water hyacinth covered at least one-fifth of the Philippines' Laguna Lake. It is also widespread on freshwater wetlands of the Mekong Delta. Giant mimosa is one of the worst weeds in the lower Mekong region. Because of its ability to spread rapidly in long distances in floodwaters, affecting grasslands, floodplains and pastures, converting them into unproductive shrublands. It also destroyed rice fields in nearby areas. Climate change can intensify the effects of invasive alien species. Fire-prone grasses such as kogon grass and Siam weeds can trigger forest fires during excessive and prolonged droughts in forested areas. Rising temperature and prolonged drought may also promote the growth of invasive alien pathogens or diseases which can adversely affect native plants and animals, and humans as well. As invasive alien species pose grave threats to biodiversity, their life cycles, modes of introduction, and means of survival should be better understood to enable effective control measures and minimize their damaging effects to biological resources. What can governments do to prevent the spread of invasive alien species? Governments should allocate resources to develop and implement national control strategies and programs based on research results on invasive alien species physiology and pathways. They should undertake national invasive alien species surveys for early detection and explore alternative economic uses. Restore habitats and replant native plants. Strictly implement quarantine importation regulations for plants and animals and cost-effective eradication programs and increase public awareness on invasive alien species. Review and update existing list of prohibited species with proper pest risk analysis. Build research and development capacities and strengthen competencies. Invasive alien species is a silent threat, causing serious and irreversible changes in our biodiversity and economy. Take an active stand to protect our native species and habitats now. Report all invasive alien species in your areas to proper authorities and get involved in all invasive alien species prevention activities.